Okay, folks, I'm down along the river here and down over a bank. I don't know what I just come up on, but uh, a whole bunch of shards I see here down amongst these rocks and stuff. I've pulled two bottles out so far. This early screw top bromo, probably from the late 20s or early 30s. And then this weird looking, I'm going to say olive oil bottle. Consumer glass mark on the base, a C and a diamond. So sometime after 1918, I believe. Most likely from the 20s, and I see there's a bunch of other glass all up and through here, too. So I'm not, like I say, I'm not sure what all is here, so I'm just going to kind of scrape around a bit, and if I get to find anything interesting, I'll get you back up on. Look at that. Okay. Well, me again, folks. I'm still uh, scraping around between these rocks. I'm going to try to roll this big one down over, see if there's anything in behind it. But I'm just over here right now. The only thing I have with me for a scraper is this. There's a nice blue shard. Check that out. Nice color. But I just flipped this up out from right there, actually. Right down into here. I kind of had a good look at it. But uh, check it out. Look at that. How cool is that? There's two guys. One's sitting on a box and one's uh, kind of standing up on it. That is pretty cool. Looks like it went on something maybe. Kind of looks like a pin right there. That there's a neat old find, gotta say. Check it out. Cool beans. All right, I'm gonna keep scraping around. Just want to show you that. Well, it's raining here, folks. But here's this piece that's cleaned up fairly well. I might try to clean it up a little more. But it turns out to be a cast iron bank, dated around 1912, and it's based on a 1907 comic strip called Mutt and Jeff. If you'd like to know a little bit more about it, stay tuned to the recap portion of the video. I'll give you a little more info on it. Otherwise, let's get back uh, digging. Over and out. Great piece. Alright, so here's a nice old base here, folks. JL and company maybe. It's an oldie. I got one right here in amber. Oh no, it's broke. Ah, crappy. That uh, would have been a nice flask, amber flask, K9 with a star on the base. Oh well, let's keep uh, scraping around. Haha, uh -huh, yeah folks. Next find. I'm still right here. Always I'm ever glad I come down here and check this out. Here's a little link. And I found one like that not far from here actually. Uh, I think last year or the year before would have had a metal ring and uh, lid on the top of it. The other one I found down this way was uh, manganese glass. I don't know if this one's going to be or not. It's got that nice uh, pattern all over it. I don't even have a bag to put my finds in. I'm going to have to find something <laughs> some trash, a bucket or something to carry this stuff out of here. I'm starting to get a few items here. Check out the base here. I just dug out too. Anybody ever seen a base like that? Look how it's slotted there. Kind of weird. Like a screwdriver slot in it. Next find, folks. Right after that little fancy ink, this here just rolled out. Bear with me here with the camera. There we go. Doesn't look like much until I roll it around and it is embossed. It's a brown atone. Kenton Farm Company, Covington, Kentucky, I think that is. Nice little find. I do believe that is a hair coloring bottle or hair tonic, whatever they call them back in the day. Little corker. Nice find, nice find. Mm, 
Okay, folks, I'm gonna attempt to roll this big rock here. Put my other glove on. underneath it. Got it. I'll show you what's there. Okay, so there's that rock I got moved. And here's it was down behind it and underneath it. Not the glass there. Some blue stuff. I'm gonna pick around in this. Looks like it's all broke for the most part though. Could be. Could be complete stuff up in here. Nice green shard. All kinds of shards in there, yeah. There's something with a cap on it. Canadian Winery Limited. New Brunswick Liquor Control Board. That's an interesting piece. Doesn't look like anything real old right here, but I would say obviously all these rocks have been rolled down on top of this dump area. Alright, I'm going to pick around here some more uranium glass, flowers on it. Oh, the rain's holding off, folks. Before I get up any further here, around this rock, up the bank, I'll just show some of the things I got here. You seen that ink? Because I'm going to move this stuff so I can dig up through here. There's that weird looking base. Here's another old base. Some sort of ring off something. Got a doorknob. That brown atone. Good find. Oh yeah. That there. Probably the best find yet. These other bottles here. There's an old amber cork top, blown in a mold. There's some pieces of pottery here as well. There's the top to a ginger beer, or mineral water. Piece to a jug. A couple milk glass. There's that uh, 20s, 1920s Bromo. This big old thing here. There's another milk glass. There's a uh, amber cork top, I scraped out. All kinds of stuff underneath these leaves, down between the rocks. Well, that would have been neat. All right, get you back up on the next good find. Well, folks, the next find wasn't too far along. I just moved that stuff over, started scraping underneath it. Here's a stopper just fell out of a bottle. All right, I recognize that. That's a cognac Monet stopper. I don't know how well you can see that. It doesn't look like you can see it very good. It's got the dragon on it, and I see the bottle to it right here. It fell right out of it. Sweet. Oh, it's cracked. Is it cracked? Yeah, it's cracked. Frag right around it, almost in two. That's a shame. Stopper's still good, though. I'll have to put that in my pocket so I don't lose it. Right on. Okay, folks, I'm gonna get out of here fairly quickly, I think. But before I go, here's a few more finds. Look, dug up the lid to a waterman's ink. What are the chances of that? That's pretty cool. Old Bakelite lid. Camera's having a hard time focusing on it. There's an old pulley. It's not any good, but kind of neat. Something else there. Uh, it looks like I got a glass tube sticking out right here, so let's go ahead and pull that out. Yeah, it's a cork top. Some sort of perfume, I think it's still got the cork in it, or the lid on it. It's a cork top with a rubber lid in it. Cool. We'll keep that. A little, uh, well, who knows what could have been in that. It's a vial for sure. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit more here, and I think I'm going to have to come back at another time because I feel like it's worth investigating around these rocks some more. 
seems to be lots of uh, a mixture of older stuff and newer stuff so all right we'll stay for a little bit longer if I find anything I'll get you back up on if not well, we'll probably do a short recap over and out hey folks me again I'll get you up one more time so I went up along the upper part of the hill here and scraped around and pawed around there's lots of old shards up there but nothing even close to being whole and I think what's happened is the debris the bottles and stuff has come have come down and have collected behind this line of rocks here collect it behind them and throughout them so I think this is where I'm gonna stick is down along here so that's uh, almost like a tip there I would say I just sort of uh, realized that myself now this here ornate piece just come out from right down between the rocks here and it almost looks like a bottle or something might have went inside that it's an interesting piece I'm gonna hang on to it neato Okay, folks, I am heading home. That's it for today. It is basically 20 to 5, so I've been out since uh, almost 9 o'clock this morning, so I've been going all day. Hit several spots, and the last location I just that I just came from managed to get some digging in and got a few uh, decent finds out of that, so I'm glad I hit that spot, and it'll probably uh, be worth going back once again in the future, so... All right, I'm going to let you go for now, and we're going to do a little clean up here, so we'll see you there. Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for another historical transmission. We got some unique and interesting finds here in this one. Oh, before we get started, don't forget to hit that big old like button there. That always uh, helps out. So, like I say, before we get started... I guess I could say I was out digging this morning and I dug for about three or four hours or so and I didn't think I had accumulated much for <laughs> fines but I'll tell you at the end of it there when I was back in my bag up I could barely lift <laughs> the thing to get it on my back <laughs> well that'll be coming up later in a future video you know that oh that kind of reminds me of a joke as well uh, listen to this one a photon is going through airport security the TSA agent asks if he has any luggage, to which the photon replies, No, I'm traveling light. <laughs> traveling light. <laughs> you get this? <laughs> Never heard that one before. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so, first up is this little cork top bottle here it is embossed let's see if we can get focused on it for you there come on now there we go can we see it though can we make it out it says brownatone kenton pharmacy company covington kentucky and uh, i do believe that was a hair coloring bottle and based on the markings on the bottom there I believe it's going to be 1930 all right neat little embossed cork top bottle this one here I haven't gathered any info on this one but it's an interesting shape and it kind of reminds me of an olive oil bottle it's got the consumer glass mark on the base so it's probably like from the 20s or 30s 1920s or 30s And next up, we got just a little slick cork top amber bottle, PD and company on the base. I couldn't find any info on that, but of course I didn't dig too deep into the internet. But uh, just a quick little search, didn't reveal anything about it. Uh, next up is just another slick one, but it is base embossed. It's a, an Absorbing Junior. And it does have the original lid on it, and it looks to me like this one's going to be like a little sample size bottle. Kind of interesting. They always have that lid with the A on it. Absorbing Junior. Okay. 
All right, folks, so next up is what I believe is probably the best find of the dig. Well, if not, it's pretty friggin' close to it. And it's this right here. I soaked it in uh, CLR for several days, and it did clean up fairly well. I didn't think there were any markings on it until I looked down here after soaping it, and it looked like it says Jeff right there. And then on this side of the box over here, it said something else over here. And uh, looking through the magnifying glass, it looked like it said Mutt, but that didn't make much sense to me. But anyways, a little uh, Google search revealed that it is Mutt and Jeff, and it is a cast iron bank made by A.C. Williams, and uh, believed to be around 1912 or so. However, the back piece is missing. Had it have been there, the slot for the coins would be right around here, right on this guy, the back of his jacket. And they'd go in, and there was a screw here that connected the two pieces together, and you just unwind the screw to get the coins out. So, Mutt and Jeff is a comic strip created by cartoonist Bud Fisher in 1907. And it's commonly regarded as the first daily comic strip. So that's pretty cool. I might try to clean this up a little more and perhaps paint it the original colors or just leave it the way it is. I might put it through the reverse electrolysis. Either way, that's a nice find. And it stands by itself. Quite sturdy, actually. So... I am happy to have that piece there. Perhaps the back to it is there somewhere as well. I'm going to get back there and try uh, digging around some more anyway, so maybe I'll turn it up in the future. Next up, we got a cobalt blue, broken thread pattern, late 20s, early 1930s. It's a Bromo Seltzer, and it's also embossed down around the heel here, Emerson Drug Company. The larger ones say Bromo Seltzer for headaches. So well, that's kind of neat. And then, folks, is this piece here. Now, I do believe this is a bottle sleeve, perhaps off a of perfume or something. Now, let me show you what I'm referring to. Here's a bottle. I had one that it fits it. I believe that would go over some sort of bottle like that to make it uh, more decorative and that's a pretty cool find if you ask me if it isn't a bottle sleeve by god it should be because that's pretty nice <laughs> uh, what do you think you think that's a bottle sleeve all right <laughs> here's a uh, a little vial that had the rubber stopper in it i didn't bother taking that out i left it in there i didn't want to break it or anything it's got a little moisture in it And then we got a few more things here. This is a lovely Cognac Monet glass stopper with the dragon. Yep, get focused on it. I want to get focused because I want you to see it. There it is, see it? The dragon slash uh, salamander. It's got a bruise on it. Still a nice find though. So there's that. And we also got this thing here, which is a Waterman's ink cover. Turn to remove. First time I found a Waterman's ink screw top cover. It is really fine threaded. I don't have a bottle that it fits, so I have no idea about uh, the date or anything of it. And this here, I believe, is a lid as well. It is uh, milk glass. And to me, it looks like this is a lid and not like a cream jar. Okay, could be wrong, but I don't think so. That drink's going down pretty good. Gonna have a, I'm getting hungry, gonna have a chew on this old uh, hot pepper. So next up is this ink, nice swirly pattern on it, and if you watch the digging video, I mentioned that I found one 
previously in that same area, which is right here. It's a little bit bigger, and you can definitely see that this one is manganese glass. Check it out. So this one might end up being that way too. This one was kind of sticking out of the mud, so it was getting some sunlight, whereas this one was buried in the rocks. Cool find. And then finally, folks, is this doorknob, porcelain doorknob, cleaned up pretty good. I know somebody that collects porcelain doorknobs, so maybe I'll give that to that person. So that's going to be it, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed all the finds. I really like this here find. Boy, that was a good one. Okay, well, that's going to be it, folks. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Over and out. Have a great day. All that good stuff. Ciao.